black and indigenous communities are three and a half times more likely to experience food insecurity and poverty. That staggering statistic is from a new report by Food Banks Canada that takes a deep dive into the growing hunger crisis in our country. I'm tired of having to say we're at the highest level of food bank use in Canadian history, but unfortunately it, we keep sort of breaking this record. This new report paints an unequal picture of those more likely to experience poverty. They include Indigenous people, racialized people, transgender people, those with disabilities and newcomers. We made a point in this report of using uh, an equity, diversity, inclusion lens to understand what we were reading in order to ensure that we presented the results, um, the true results. The report also found that Indigenous people living in urban settings experience poverty at a higher rate than other groups. Wage discrimination, it's, uh, it's the historical uh, impacts of uh, colonization and residential schools and access to education and uh, employment and housing discrimination and, you know, all of those, those social uh, factors for, for a good life um, are at play here. Suze Morrison with the Ontario Federation of Indigenous Friendship Centers says 88% of Indigenous people in Ontario live in cities and towns. There are currently 31 friendship centers across the province that not only help feed communities, but provide social services like housing and job supports, as well as spaces to practice culture and heal from traumas. Sue says these play a vital role in quality of life. They, they haven't seen a match of uh, increased core funding or program funding uh, from the federal or provincial government uh, in a long time. Uh, so, you know, whatever the, the solutions are, they, they have to include um, urban Indigenous people at the core. The report card gave Ontario a D- in the fight against poverty, and here's why. Two out of five residents are spending more than 30% of their income on housing. 37% of people in racialized communities are affected by low wages, and Ontario has some of the lowest social assistance rates in the country. Food Banks Canada is calling for a full poverty reduction strategy that includes targets and accountability, something Beardsley says has to be immediate and long term. What if this doesn't happen immediately, then what? Well, you know, I'm scared. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't think inaction is an option. Uh, we need to see governments take action because at some point, the food banking system isn't going to be able to continue to respond. Shauna Hunt, City News.